This is the newest beat of Windows 11 for both Canary and Dev users, and there are several changes that we're going to take a closer look at. Remember that if you are a Canary user, you can switch to Dev and vice versa. So move to the desired channel while it lasts. Starting at the desktop, one foundation change comes to the context menu. If you right click any file or directory, you can see that quick actions at the top side of the context menu now shows text rather than just icons like previous builds and Windows 11 version 23H2. In my opinion, this is such a good change forward and I hope that there are more actual good changes forward within the next builds. Moving to the next change, there is a new feature to facilitate more for low vision users named Pointer Indicator. By going on to the settings, accessibility, mouse pointers and touch, you can see that there is a new option right below mouse size. Now, other than just enlarge the cursor, you can spawn horizontal and vertical focus line towards the current cursor position. Other than going to the settings, it can be enabled with pressing Windows, Control and X at the same time as a shortcut. I'm happy that this feature is arriving and I highly want this specific feature to come for more general users via cumulative update. Alright, remember about the Windows protected printing mode that I showcased in the last build? Well, turns out the UI apparently hasn't been implemented yet. <laughs> Damn, I thought lacking a printer is the cause of no UI. But here it is, you can enable it via settings and, well, yeah, not responding as usual. And also you can turn it off. Wait, what? <laughs> I can't turn it off? Dang it! Whilst Windows speech recognition is deprecated, the Windows, Control and S shortcut is still opening Windows speech recognition. But within this build, the shortcut will now point it towards voice access. I hope it was fast as it. Moving on to double changes in one feature. The widget button will display a notification badge whenever there is a news or things happening within the widget. And next, the widget board received an improvement which added a navigation pane to the left side of the widget. Some of the features aren't rolled out to all inside just yet, but for more information, you can check out full documentation as well as the download link in the description of this video. I feel somewhat confident about changes for new reviews later on, and...